Welcome back to another Longshot StarCraft 2 broadcast. I am your host, Longshot here, casting this 1v1 between Fillmore spawning in the top left hand corner as Protoss and his opponent, Colocatronis, spawning as Protoss as well. This map is Typhoon Peaks, so definitely check out this map. Uh, this map is definitely, uh, I think, underplayed, honestly, because th this map is just. It's just awesome. Why, you may ask? It's huge. It's just ridiculously huge. You got your natural here. You got another expansion, another expansion. What I have found, though, is that there is no gold on this map. Nada. Or if there is, prove me wrong. Wait, is there, is there a gold? No. No gold on this map, folks. So none of that early craziness. But as you can see, uh, Colocatronis and Fillmore are going to be scouting out fairly early actually going to be uh, checking their uh, close position opponents, I guess. But since they are ac across the map, I, it's, uh, I think, a pretty much the same distance. But um, definitely going to be interesting in that sort of fashion. So, but, oh, but we have Fillmore putting down his forge. I guess he wants to do some early cannon pushing. Oh, man. Colcatronus has better be aware of this because if he is not, uh, then he's going to have a lot of cannons in his base fairly quickly because this probe is about to go into his base. As you can see, the line is actually being pushed in. He gets the scout off, does not see the other probe go in, but the other probe goes in. They, they just completely miss each other. Wow. I mean, that's just amazing. You know, just mere seconds off from each other. Oh, but this probe is going to be coming into Colocatronus' base. I'm going to be getting the scout off to see what he's going to be doing. Knowing that Colocatronus is doing a fairly standard build, but going to be hiding in this brush. And up, oh, up, oh, we see the clicks. Yes, we do. Colocatronus is not going to have it from Fillmore. He's like, nope, you are not going to do whatever you think you're going to be doing. And he already sees that. Colocatronus already has the vision of this forge. So, as we can see, Fillmore is just going to be getting out of the base as soon as possible. <laughs> He's already behind in everything else. So, his push didn't work. Uh, luckily, Colocatronus was smart enough to actually get that probe completely out of his base. You know, getting his Z-Lot out. And he's still trying to, I guess, scout. I guess this scout is still scouting. But, Fillmore, I, I think this is a risky move, but... I like it. It's bold. It's it's uh, wanting to get ahead, but I think that he start needs to start using some of his minerals. He is definitely uh, banking a few of his minerals. He should probably get a gateway out and uh, start uh, producing some more units. But I think I spoke too soon, folks. He's dropping down two gateways on this one pylon. I think what he wants to do is actually, you know get that economical lead because he now knows that he is so far behind because of that that cannon push that just was thwarted by that one probe and that one probe is just going to be walking by seeing all of this wow and then still going to be able to walk up into Col uh, Fillmore's base wow seeing that he how far behind he is and Fillmore is actually going to be getting a uh, cannon at his main but he finally gets up his his nexus and his two gateways. Is he going to start pumping out anything from these two yet? Uh, two Z-Lots? Two Stalkers? Anything? What's going on here? Come on, Fillmore. What, what you got for me? And that is nothing. That is right. <laughs> He's got nothing. And this, this uh, probe needs to be getting out of here as quickly as possible because that cannon just finished. And as we can see here... Oh, but he's gonna be—he's gonna be hitting all of these more. But oh, Colocatronus goes down, and Colocatronus has a, a fairly good wall in now, uh, very strong. Uh, but getting that warp gate technology and warping, in, or yeah, warping in a stalker and uh, another century. Oh, but getting a Stargate. What are we gonna be having here? We're gonna have some crazy void ray play on this map, but I don't know. We'll check and find out. And, soon see but he <laughs> Fillmore is uh, chrono boosting on these and not not making anything out of them oh my gosh he is that's such a sad day for him uh, he's, 
He needs to get this warp gate technology. He is so far behind right now. Colin Cotronis is at 44 food, and then Th Fillmore is at 34 food. But he is so far behind on tech and resources, and is he really going to be building solely everything off this one pylon? <laughs> I mean, he's got a good wall off, but if he gets a, if Colt Cotronis gets some units up into uh, Fillmore's base or in this area and takes out this one pylon, all of these structures will go down. Oh my gosh, but Colicatronis is going to be getting his Void Rays up, that's right. And as you can see, his his economy is just flourishing right now. I mean, look at that. He really needs to start uh, possibly getting out his second expansion. Uh, he should be aware of this, of this uh, expansion. Yes, he does. So he knows that he is a little far behind now. Actually, in economy, let's check the income tab. That's right. Fillmore is actually ahead, but with the same harvester count, not sure if it's going to be that big of a difference, but I know that his production value for probes is going to be a lot better. But Fillmore being completely f blocked on food, he's definitely got to get those uh, pylons Whoops, pylons in the mix on his base. So he's going to be making three more pylons. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> still, this one pylon is... Uh, Powering all of these structures. This is very dangerous. I'm surprised that Fulmer is actually doing it. But Colicatronus is actually going to be getting his uh, expansion up finally. And I think this is a good timing for him to do this. He's ahead of the food count. He's definitely up in technology. Uh, and his harvester count is uh, pretty much equal with Fillmore. And he's also going to be getting that level 1 upgrades, uh, level 1 attack upgrades. And going to be chrono boosting these. Are they cooling down? No. Come on, Color Catronus. That's a waste of chrono boost. You do not want to do that. <gasps> no, he didn't. Oh, it's a fleet beacon. Oh my gosh. Are we going to be seeing some uh, carriers? Or are we going to be seeing a mothership? Oh, man. My nerd... Oh, my nerd sensors are tingling. Oh my gosh. But <laughs> we have Fillmore finally getting up some uh, static defense up at his uh, expansion. And uh, wanting to get some more gas. But I'm not sure if this is going to work out fairly well because he's stuck on this. I think he needs to put down at least another pylon to at least power these buildings because <laughs> I'm stuck on this one pylon. I mean, if this pylon can hold out uh, Cola Catronus' forces then it would be epic to see uh, <laughs> what happens if Colin Catronus loses his forces. But once again, Fillmore getting his upgrades. Oh, big mistake. I mean, I understand he's chrono boosting it out, but is he? he's just got so much minerals. I mean, he's got to be using some of this stuff, and he's actually stopped pro production. Not good, but he actually does ha is getting his robotics facility. I like this a little bit, but still, he's still in this weird... I, I don't know what, what he's doing. I mean, he is chrono boosting out more probes. Is he making more probes from this facility, uh, from this nexus? No. But he's finally getting his level 1 armor. I do like that. Um, and it's, it's pretty much a neck and neck match, folks. Folks, it's uh, uh, so He's also getting charge as well. Does he have blink on his uh, stalkers? No. I guess he decided to go for the charge first instead of the blink stalkers. Um, I do kind of like this and I'll give you a few reasons why because with uh, pro again when, when you play Protoss Protoss if you have early zealot legs then your force then the opposing force will actually start focusing firing on well I'm not really focusing but auto attacking your zealots because they see them more as a threat than they do uh, your stalkers because your stalkers hasn't come up yet oh my gosh I'm sorry to freak out but we have a mothership on the way from Colicatronis Cola Catronus, you bad mother, shut your mouth. You are getting your mothership in here, baby. Oh my gosh, with a couple, well, with four more <laughs> gateways on the way. I guess he wants to have that heavy ground force with his uh, mothership to protect her. Oh my gosh, Chrono boosting that mothership. I'm like, I'm like just freaking out right now. There's just so... I keep on chrono boosting my friend just keep on chrono boosting just get that mothership out as fast as you can and chrono boosting his level 2 actually his level 1 armor upgrades warping in more or changing those gateways into warp gates that's right he's got three void rays on just kind of chilling on standby and uh, definitely have these uh 
Stalker Zealot Force, but you know what? Now that I kind of look at it, it looks like Colt Catronus doesn't have a large ground force and kind of banked his buck into the mothership. And, you know, hopefully that cloak ability that the mothership has can really deviate from Fillmore's forces to take out Colt Catronus' ground forces. And as we can see here, he's still chrono boosting on these. Uh, gateways and still look at this this is absolutely amazing he's I mean I wouldn't say amazing but uh I, I think it's 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 a bold move it's saying come and get me come and get me and see if you can actually take out the heat you know what I'm saying but I guess this one probe is actually gonna be scouting not sure where he's going we'll, we'll check in with him later but as we can see uh, Fillmore is actually gonna be going to getting his Colossus out that's right and his observer is gonna be scouting but you know what? I think we know what's on the field. That is right. Mothership is hanging out here. She is chilling with her Protoss babies. That's right. With more and more Protoss forces coming out. Is that a carrier? Oh my gosh. Two carriers going to be produced from Colcatronus. But this mothership, is uh, is she going to be kind of coming around? What is she going to be doing? She's... I think she's going to be doing some sort of sneak attack move on Fillmore. But Fillmore is wise enough to actually be getting up his third expansion up fairly early uh, against the Protoss army of Colicatronus. But Colicatronus' army is actually grouping up together. It looks like they're going to be going... I don't know if they're going to be going in for a recall because this guy is all... Poor, the, the poor mothership. That sweetness. That, that darling of her. She is actually going to be going to do a recall. I mean, the way he's grouping up his units here, it looks like it's going to be a recall. Not sure yet, but we'll find out. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a two-prong attack or anything, but definitely going to bring in his his stalkers, uh, his void rays, and a carrier. Oh, come on, man. You got to make those in interceptors, man. You can't just have one. What's wrong with you, Cola Catronus? But this, this expansion almost about to be up from Fillmore. But is he going to be aware of this? I, I, the fact that he hasn't scouted, I mean, he's got this observer definitely going to be, he's got one hell of a, a pathing, <laughs> but I think, is, is the observer actually going to see his force, but Colicatronus is actually going to be sending some probes to do some scouting, um, or just sacrificing him maybe, because he's actually supply blocked now. Yeah, oh, nope, I guess not. I guess he just wants to know exactly where he is. Oh, but the 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 mothership is actually coming in and is going to be warping. Oh, is he going to be taking these forces? Is he going to be taking these forces? Oh, my gosh. where Where's the, the recall on this? Where's the recall? The mothership is getting shots off. Where's the recall? Where's the recall? No one's attacking this mothership. What is wrong with these two players? There he goes. The recall comes in to play. Oh, my gosh. So many forces, these, we have many stalkers and uh, void rays, we got the carrier in play, the, 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 they don't even know what to attack, oh my gosh, the carrier is getting focus fired, oh, but the Fillmore blinks in, the, oh, the, the mothership goes down.